Welcome back everybody to Encore On Demand. My name is Miss Martha Grace and we are back for week two of Bop with Bugs. Last class, we talked a little bit about the three actors tools, a b -b 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 bodies, a b -b 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 voices, and imaginations that actors use to help tell stories. And these are all tools that we're gonna use every class. So the very first thing that we're gonna do today is do a warm up that's going to warm up our bodies, our voices, and our imaginations. For our warm up today, we're going to use a dance and a song that we learned last class. So the first thing that we need to do is review what we learned last time. So just like last time, I'm gonna pick up my camera because I'm very tall and I want you to be able to see me. And I'm gonna move my chair out of the way. So if you are in a space where there's a lot of stuff, make sure that you have plenty of room to move so that you don't hit a knee or a foot or a hand into something because we don't want anybody to get hurt. So last time we learned some bug dance moves. Does anybody remember what any of those dance moves was? Maybe a couple. Ant, yes. Caterpillar, yes. Butterfly, we did do a butterfly move. Yep. So good. Ant, caterpillar, butterfly, bumblebee is one of them too, and cricket, which cricket is the one that, that gets me really, really tired. <laughs> so we are going to practice those dance moves at, just to review to make sure that we know them, and then we're gonna add two new bug dance moves to our dance. How does that sound? I'm really excited. Okay, so the very first dance move, just to review, is for ants. So if you hear me say ants, or if we're singing our song and the song is talking about ants, we're gonna go like this. March, march, march. March, march, march. March, march, march. Because ants like to march. Now, if you hear in the song about a caterpillar, does anybody remember what the caterpillar looks like? You got it, it goes a little something like this. A wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. A wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. A wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Nice job. And you can really get those wiggly arms going, especially if you have a lot of energy. Just make sure that you have plenty of room to move. So we have ants. We've got caterpillars. Next up, we have butterflies. So for butterflies, remember we have our nice big butterfly wings. We're gonna take a big breath in through our nose. And then we say, whoosh, for butterfly. And if we say butterfly, we go, whoosh. And one more time, butterfly, breathe in through your nose. And whoosh for butterfly. Awesome job. So we have ants, we've got caterpillars, we've got butterflies. Next up, we've got bumblebees. So if you hear bumblebee, we're gonna go like this. A buzz, 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 a buzz, buzz, buzz. Buzz, 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 buzz. With our little buzzing wings with our hands to the side. So let's try that one one more time. Bumblebee, a buzz, 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 buzz. Nicely done. And the last one, which makes me out of breath, so, you know, lots of big breaths, everybody, is cricket. So if you hear me say cricket, we are going to crouch down. It's hard to see in the camera, but crouch up in a ball and then spring up into a big boing like a cricket. And we're going to do that three times. So cricket, boing, boing, boing. Awesome job. So those are our five moves that we already know. And today we are going to add two more bug moves. So the first new bug move is for a cicada. So some of you have probably seen some cicadas outside, but when cicadas are dancing, they might look and sound a little bit different when we're pretending to be them for our dance move than you might see. But as our cicadas, this is how we are going to move. We're gonna put our hands at our sides like our cicada wings, and we're gonna move our voices from very low to very high and back again, because as you probably know, cicadas make a lot of noise. So I think that we should too, don't you? Yes. So you'll have your hands on your hips, and before we get moving, this is what it's gonna sound like. Ooh. Good, let's do that one more time. Ooh. 
nice big cicada sounds. Now the movement that we're gonna go along with it, we're gonna start low and we're going to pop up and turn so that we can make those uh, cicada wings flop together to make our sound. So let's try that all together. Crouch down low, Ooh, and back down. So as our voice goes up, we go up, and as our voice goes down, we come down. So let's try that more time. Cicada. Ooh. And let's do it the other way. Here we go. Three, two, one. Cicada. Ooh. Awesome job. So that is our cicada move. How are you feeling about it? Good. Awesome. We'll practice it in one more time before we put it in our song. But I have one more bug move to teach you before we add it all together into our bug song. So the last bug that we're going to do is a ladybug. So ladybugs have lots, um, lots of red, uh, they're very red on their wings, and they have lots of black polka dots, and they're a type of beetle, so they have wings that come out behind them. So sort of like our butterfly, we're going to raise our hands up over our head to make a circle like this. It might disappear because I'm very tall. Um, but we're going to get our wings, our ladybug's wings, over our head, and we are going to turn in a circle. And because ladybugs are so much fun and they come out when it's really nice outside, we're going to add a little sound that just is very fun to go along with their turn. So we're going to go up with our hands, and as we turn in a full circle, we're going to go la 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 la. Because ladybugs are super fun. So here we go, let's try it. La 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 la. Ladybug, la 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 la. Ladybug, la 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 la. Awesome job. That looks great and you all sound awesome. So one more time, the two new bug moves that we are practicing today are cicada and ladybug. So what was that cicada again? Do our hands like wings on our hips. We go like this. And the other way. And ladybug. Ladybug. Awesome job. So now my voice is starting to feel a little bit warm. My body's starting to feel a little bit warm. My imagination is really firing up. So once we get all of these dance moves into our um, song, we are going to be ready to get going today. So are you ready to sing our song with our dance moves? Awesome! Let's get into it. So here we go. The ants in the grass go march, 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 march. March, 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 the ants in the grass go march, 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 all through the town. The caterpillars in the grass go wiggle, 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 wiggle. The caterpillars in the grass go wiggle, 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 all through the town. The butterflies in the grass go whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. The butterflies in the grass go whoosh all through the town. The bees in the grass go buzz, 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 buzz. buzz. The bees in the grass go buzz, buzz, buzz all through the town. The crickets in the grass go boing, boing, boing. The crickets in the grass go boing all through the town. The cicadas in the grass go woo, woo. The cicadas in the grass go woo, all through the town. The ladybugs in the grass go la 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 The ladybugs in the grass go la 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 all through the town. Awesome job, everybody. Give yourself a huge pat on the back. That was great. I'm gonna go ahead and move my camera down. Since we were just moving a lot, <clears throat> we're gonna take a big breath in through our nose and out through our mouth. And in through our nose and 
out through our mouth. Oh. Awesome job. So we're gonna keep adding our bug moves to our dance at the beginning of every day. And you all are doing such a good job moving like bugs. So today we are going to be taking a look, not just at the way that bugs move, but the way that bugs might sound. So one of the books that we're gonna use today, or the book that we're gonna use today is called The Very Quiet Cricket. So you might have read this book before. It's a really good one. And just like last time, I'm gonna pull the story up on my computer screen to make it a little easier for you to read. Um, but this is a great book and it has a lot of really cool bugs. So one of the things I'd like for you to think about while I'm swapping over my story here, as we're reading through the story, think about which of these bugs that we are gonna get to know are really, really loud and which of the bugs are quiet. So this is our story for today, The Very Quiet Cricket. One warm day, from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Mm, good morning, buzzed a locust spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together but nothing happened, not a sound. <coughs> Good day, crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hi, bubbled a spittlebug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada, clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Mm -hmm. How are you? Hummed a bubble moldy, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good evening, word a dragonfly gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Oh, good night, buzzed the mosquitoes, dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night. The cricket enjoyed the stillness. There's that luna moth over the moon. As the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She, too, was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time, he chirped the most beautiful sound she had ever heard. The end. 
So that is a great story. And it's so much fun that the cricket finds a friend at the end that he can talk to. But what's also really fun about that story is all of the different voices and sounds and volumes of all of the different bugs that we saw in the story. Our Luna moth was very silent and almost no sound at all versus our cicada who was so loud screaming from the tree. So today we're going to take a look at what it would be like for all these different types of bugs to come together if they were going to do a parade. Now, a lot of the times, parades can be really, really loud. And our parade is going to get a little bit loud sometimes. And in our parade, we'll also be a little bit quiet sometimes. So just make sure before we get started that you don't have anybody napping in the house because that'll make them go like this. <gasps> oh, so loud. And we don't want to do that. So make sure that you check before you keep going. If you need to pause the video and go someplace a little bit more quiet or where there's not anybody sleeping, anything like that. Um, you can go ahead and do that. Okay, awesome. So the first thing that we're going to need for our bug parade is some type of drum. Hmm. Now, I don't have a drum at my house. I don't know, you might have a drum at your house. But I find that something in my house that I can use really easily as a drum is just a simple plastic bowl. If you don't have a bowl like this, another option would be to use um, a pan or a pot because when you go to hit it with your hand you can still get some sound that comes out of it. So that's the pot and that's the plastic. Now neither of those really made a super super loud sound and it was a little bit hard to hear. So one more thing that I'm going to use for me, I have a nice wooden spoon. So if you would like to use a spoon or a stick or anything to help create a little bit more sound, it makes a little bit uh, clearer of a sound that comes out of our bound drum from just things that we have around the house. So let's hear what this one sounds like. I think I like this one. It's got a nice ring to it. So go ahead and pause the video and take a couple of minutes to find something that you can use from your house as a drum that has a sound that you really like. So it might be a pan or a pot, it might be a plastic dish, it might be a bowl, and it might be something totally different, like a box or something that I hadn't even thought of or talked about. So go ahead and pause the video and go and grab something that you can use for a drum. For everybody else who already has one, let's go ahead make a little bit of uh, so, some time for practice. So maybe decide whether or not you'd like to use a spoon or a stick or whether or not you prefer to use your fingers or your hands. Okay, I think our friends are back with us now um, to be able to get their drum together. So the first thing that we need to do before we take our drums to our bug parade is to figure out, well, if we're doing a parade for really quiet bugs, do you think they're going to want really, really loud parade sounds? I don't think so either. I think quiet bugs are going to want some more quiet sounds. So let's practice first making some quiet noises with our drum. So I'm going to hold my drum like this, this pot, and I'm going to use my fingers almost like raindrops hitting the top of it. You might be able to hear that. It's nice and quiet and it's soothing. It's not too loud. And if I want it to be a little bit louder, I can tap a little bit harder and the sound gets a little bit louder. Nice. Well, that's a pretty good quiet sound. Maybe even if we wanted to hit it quietly with our hands, we could get a quiet sound. So repeat this pattern after me. One more time. Nice, and that was nice and quiet too, so that when we do a parade for our quiet bugs, they're not gonna be going, oh, my little bug ears, it's so loud. Now, some bugs are really, really quiet, and some bugs are really, really loud, and some bugs are right in the middle. So if we have very quiet fingers for our quiet bugs, and we want it to be a little bit louder, maybe we use the palm of our hand to make a little bit of a louder sound, or we might use something like a spoon or a drumstick. So let's let's hear that. 
much better. So repeat the pattern after me with a little bit more sound this time, a medium sound for medium voiced bugs, bugs who aren't super loud, but aren't super quiet. So repeat this pattern after me. Oh, that one's tricky. Let me do that one more time. Good, let's do it one more time. Nice, very nice. And then let's do one more pattern at our medium volume, not too loud, not too quiet. Let's do this one. Good, so that's five hits, either with our hand or with our spoon or our stick, if that's what we're using. So we'll do that one more time, five hits. Nicely done, awesome job. So we have our quiet sound, or we've got our medium sound. Now, if we're gonna do a parade for some loud bugs, it's gonna get kind of loud. So again, if you're someplace where somebody's trying to nap, make sure to take a pause on this video and find a different time or a different place because we don't want to wake anybody up. That would not be so good. All right, so now that we're in a place where it's not gonna bother anybody if we're gonna get loud because we're gonna get really loud. We are gonna figure out what it would sound like to do some drumming for some really loud bugs. We're talking cicadas, we're talking the mosquitoes, those bugs that really like to rock and roll. So one of the things about using a stick or a hand on a drum is the harder you hit and the, the smaller the area that you hit, the louder it's gonna be. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna experiment that means try out different ways of trying to be loud rock and roll bugs. So here we go. Three, two, one. Woo! That was really loud. Oh my goodness. The loud bugs are gonna love it. The quiet bugs, they're probably gonna want maybe a, a something a little bit different, but awesome job. So let's do a pattern. So I'll play a beat and you'll play it after me using something nice and loud. So here we go. Oh, I tricked you on that one and then I'll repeat back. Nicely done. So that can get really, really loud. And we can have all different types of rhythms and patterns that we use but we want to make sure that when we're doing a parade for the really quiet bugs, it's nice and quiet. And when we're doing the parade for the really, really loud bugs, they get their loud rock and roll parade. So let's go ahead and clear yourself a space. I'm going to move this chair out of the way. I'm going to put this down for now so that I can move my camera up because I'm very tall. I want to make sure you can see me. Okay. Make sure that you've got your bug drums, everybody. And now I would like for us to picture, picture that we are bugs getting ready to march in a bug parade. Now we're gonna march in all different parts of the backyard in our imaginations. And in the different parts of the backyard, there's different types of bugs that live in the different parts of the backyard. Some of the bugs are really loud. Some of the bugs are really quiet. And some of the bugs are a more medium sound. So the first place that I would like to go is go hang out in the uh, section of the yard where the ladybugs like to go, where the grasshoppers like to go, where the crickets like to go. They're kind of a medium bug. So we're going to start off by marching just like our ants can march. And we're going to have a medium sound, not too loud, not too quiet. So let's hit the drum. We're marching along to the sound of the drum. Going to see the medium bugs. All right, and stop. 
So go ahead and look out into the crowd of medium bugs and they're all cheering, they're all clapping, but it's a very medium bug clapping and cheering. So as the bugs on this side, our medium bugs, give us a clap and a cheer, we're going to answer them back with our drums in a medium way. So the bugs over here, oh yes, they're clapping and cheering for us. Medium drum response, please. Excellent. And the bugs over here, our crickets and our grasshoppers and our ladybugs, those medium bugs, they're clapping and cheering us for us over here in a very medium volume. So we're going to play our drums back. Here we go. Awesome job, everybody. And if you listen really closely, you can, you can hear them cheering us on because we are an excellent bug band. So let's go ahead get our marching back on and march our way to see the quiet bugs. Oh, these are the really, really quiet bugs, like lightning bugs and luna moths, the bugs who kind of talk like this because they don't like it when it's really loud. So I'm going to, I put my spoon down because that spoon can get kind of loud and we are going to play our best quiet bug drum for our quiet bug friends. So let's play. Maybe we get our toes going. I'm using my toes up on my tiptoes. Maybe a little louder. Oh, that's a little loud for them. Ooh, they were going, ooh, that's a little loud. They're quiet bugs, quiet. Oh, and if you listen, ooh, they're being very quiet. But they're giving us a very quiet applause from this side. So let's play the quiet drums back at them. They're clapping and cheering for us, but very quietly. So let's play it over here. Oh, and these bugs over here are clapping and cheering for us as well. But they're quiet, so we got to make sure that we're quiet too. So here we go. Awesome job. All right, let's tiptoe out of the section of the... Uh, the yard where the quiet bugs are. We don't want to disturb them. They might be going to a nap soon, so we'll tiptoe. Okay, coast is clear. The quiet bugs are all behind us now. So if we want to go back to a more medium sound, we are going to march our way to the loud bugs part of the yard. So here we go, march. We are marching. Marching to the part of the yard where the bugs really like to hear the really loud sounds. Whoa, we've got cicadas over here, mosquitoes over there, cicadas over there, mosquitoes over here. They're so loud, you can hear them. Ah, ah. They want some rock and roll. So we are gonna give them some rock and roll. So go ahead, take out your spoon, take out your pot, and let's really rock! Here we go! Oh my goodness, they loved it! You can hear all of them over on this side going, Woo! Yeah! So let's play our loud drums over to the other side. to the other side, here we go. Oh my goodness, and you can just hear the whole crowd go wild. So three final big hits on our drum. Here we go, three, two, one. And I added a little flare at the end. Oh my goodness, and so now it's time to march our way back home. And as we go, will remember all the different sounds we can make really loud very medium and quiet awesome job everybody all right i'm gonna go ahead and pull up my chair here. Let's 
pull down my computer so that you can see me. Let's go ahead and take a big breath in through the nose and out through the mouth and in through the nose and out through the mouth. That was so much fun to go on our bug parade today. Now, if you liked going on a bug parade, this is something that you can show anybody at home, um, an adult at home or a brother or sister or cousin, and you in your very own backyard can go on a bug parade. But always remember, if you're gonna have a really loud bug parade, you gotta check and make sure that everybody in the house is okay with that so that you don't wake anybody up. And it's always an option to go outside as well, where we can be a little bit more loud and crazy. All right, so that is the end of our class time today. But before we go, I'd like for you to close your eyes. Okay. And I'd like you to think about all of the different volumes of sound, quiet, medium, and loud that we made today. So close your eyes and think about which of the levels was your favorite to play? Which of the levels, quiet, medium, or loud are your favorite to play. And when we share, we're gonna go three, two, one, and we're gonna share out loud. So think of it, think of it, three, think of it. Here we go, three, two, one. Medium, which one did you say? Okay, so some people liked quiet, some people liked really loud, and it's all up to the, the your own um, kind of opinion. Remember, we had bugs who really liked it quiet, we had bugs who really liked it loud, and we like bugs in the middle. So all of those ideas are great ideas. And I'm so glad that you chose a volume that you really like today. All right, my friends, I am so excited to see you next time for Bop with Bugs. Thanks so much for coming to Encore On Demand. I will see you next time. Bye.